So Humpy is going to be incredibly powerful as we know him. Humpy right here has a lot of skill points in fire magic. He, he has a he has fireball now. Fireball is an AOE massive blast that will melt anything it actually hits. After all, it does a 76. A 76 is something you should never laugh at because it has a possibility of 42 damage. As long as it's not resistant to fire damage. Like those uh, fireflies. I'm actually kind of curious, actually. Regarding the Emerald Island we came from, is it possible to actually get back there? I actually have no idea. We possibly might be able to, with the power of, uh, well, Town Portal, perhaps. Perhaps. But a lot of quests are telling us to go all the way back down to... What's it called? The desert place, to go into the Dwarven Mines. Is the Dwarven Mines somewhere we should really go? That, in itself, I have no idea. In fact, I might go check that out after I explore where this pathway leads me. I know it leads me to where the troglets were, and there was that emerald slu uh, slude, that's slime, I mean. And, um, we will, in fact, just see where it takes us. We could take us anywhere, really. Hopefully it will take us somewhere wonderful, somewhere snowy, somewhere somewhat beautiful. But we'll try never truly know until we reach that. We almost reached it. But we do have to kill a few goblins. Now, everyone's a bit more equipped in their bows, so people get hit. Well, well, people can actually aim properly. Before, we're just giving someone a bow and a stick and just, like, saying, hit something. And in the end, we'll just try and do snap people to bow. So there's some goblins here. Let's see how well we actually fight them now. Can we actually melt them before they melt us? We have almost killed the hobgoblin, friend. So he is actually, well, almost dead. Now, that person's running away from me. He can stop running away. There we go. What we do need now is actually some good equipment. Where we get out of good equipment without being actually ripped off by everything? Well, we need to go find a dungeon. That's the real thing I'd add now. This is just going to take me in a circle. Oh, well. A bit of combat, a bit more experience. That's not hurt. I might be attacked from behind. I think I might be. It's a possibility. What we should do is do the air magic man. You! Tell me! Oh, no, they're all over there. They're trying to climb the mountain to get to me. In fact, some of them have climbed the mountain to get to me. As wait from the come down. Ah, there's a chest. So they're just guarding a chest, it seems. Now, luckily, these people won't do any damage to me. That's normal goblin. There's no goblin lords, it seems. Nope, no goblin lords. There's just regular old goblins and their green compatriots. Well, they're both green. It's more the hobgoblin friend. That doesn't seem to be much of a difference between hobgoblin and normal goblin. Kind of a racial thing, I guess. So you, Humpy. No, if I food again, if food again, if I food again, disarmed it for me. It wasn't even traps in the first place. So let's get all these lovely, lovely gems and take that belt. So we now got about 500, 700, no, we got 600 gold. I can count, I swear. I do know how to pronounce my language ever so slightly. Not too well, but I do know how to count. I can count to seven, I believe. I think so, anyway. So, how much damage do they have? Let's go over to Fafulgan. So, the Fafulgan says they actually don't do that much damage there, but not much help. So, our arrows should mow them down quite quickly. Luckily, Fafulgan's actually got an eye for things. In case you haven't known, he knows how to disarm bombs. With his toes and his teeth. But not his thumbs. One day. One day you might learn it, but probably not ever so soon, but maybe later. Ah, there is a go goblin. Now, what's the difference between a goblin and a hobgoblin? Let's check. This goblin has 40 health that has, wow, has basically doubled the health. So no wonder I, have, I was having trouble with him before. Because I'm just doing so many goddamn damage. Now don't take out Sazant here. Sazant, heal yourself, quick, before something horrible happens to you. Supposed to hurt? Now don't target the hobgoblin, target the goblin lord. There we go, I had to manually click for that one. I didn't have to hold down A. Yeah, everything's now dead, and we got actually 700 gold this time, like I said before. I swear I was looking into the future, and I wasn't mispronouncing something. So where on earth does this take me? This takes me up here, where there happens to be a house. Oh, I believe that itself is a seer. Now, the seers are interesting people. They'll tell you what you have to do next. And in fact, that is actually what I need to talk to. Because I need to know, I need to figure out what I need to do exactly, because... I'm not going to lie, I'm doing this blind. I don't know what I'm doing. Not in the slightest. I'm just wandering around, hoping I actually learn something. So, you are the Arbiter. So here's this bearded man. 
Hello, how are you doing, my lords? I am Judge Grey. I have an unusual job of arbitrating disputes between the warring nations. Your position has its rewards, but you never hear the people you're helping thank you. I always know what I'm doing is the right thing when both sides are angry with me at, at once. Hint! If there's one piece of advice I could give you, it would be to fix your castle. I don't know how you're going to find the gold and the workers to do it. Only as wealthy nobles and kings can afford to such large-scale projects. I suppose you can... It's no chicken and an egg question. You must appear noble to gain wealth and respect. But you must have wealth and respect to appear noble. In any event, if you expect to be Lords of Harmondale for longer than a few months, you need to find some way to prove yourself not just some lucky peasant. Prove yourself that you're fit to rule. Okay, I've lost it. You never had it. Okay, Judge Grey. He has a nice mighty beard right about then. And we should also worship the people who have mighty beards. Because if you don't follow what they say, they are probably going to do horrible, horrible things to you. When I mean horrible, horrible things, I mean they're probably going to violently stab you a lot. So I forget where the desert is. I believe the desert... I have to go for the Battle Downs to get to the desert, I believe. Maybe. Or maybe it's that way. That way's a raffia. No, I have to go for a raffia to get to the desert, I believe. I believe so. Unless my stables can take me to it. I hope my stables can take me to it. If it can, I'll try out the Red Dwarf range. No, Red Dwarf mines. I keep thinking my, uh, range from the uh, Might and Magic 4. Might and Magic 4 has a Red Dwarf range. Or mines. It probably is both. Most likely it's both. But oh well. Well, I remember that creepy looking dwarf just coming out to me and saying, Welcome to the Red Dwarf Mines! Enjoy your stay! That's what I remember. I swear. It haunts me to my sleep and my, it's like a waking nightmare. Now, Arafia. Now, the Bowdowns is down there, but to appear noble, I need to get respect of other kings, really. Or the respect of other noblemen. So I can actually be accepted and be part of their court and gain their prestige. That's what their prestige uh, rubs off of me, so to say. So, to get to the desert, I need to do things, but I don't think I can do the desert. So, the real question is, is how much I truly explore of the... what was it? The forest. Because I know someone in the chat last session told me, you must go into the forest. You must stay there because it's actually the place that you're meant to go to begin with. As it, the game tells you to begin with, it borders the human elven... Well, the, well, your city you own is the human elven border. So, let's go there and actually figure it out. Sadly, so we don't know how to move incredibly quickly. And Zazan is heavily wounded. He's kind of being dragged along by good old Humpy and a good old Farfudigan. They're good folk. And they're currently playing piggyback with him. Well, you know, they're playing piggyback. I mean, they're on top of each other. I mean, Humpy here is on top of... Well, not Humpy. Well, Farfudigan's on top of Humpy. And Zazan's on top of Humpy. I mean, Farfudigan. I'll get it eventually, you know what I mean. But, yeah. So them two are basically on top of each other. And they're all just basically having a good old fun time. And so Taras is just face palming and sighing along the way. He's just wondering what the hell has gone wrong with his life to be with two dwarves that escaped from his pockets and a fire mage. You'd never think of Humpy to be a fire mage. I mean, you'd think like the lack of his health in that helmet of his would make him some of an ice mage. I don't know why, but I always regard that ice is spikes. The only thing related to spikes is normally related to ice mage, but for some reason it's a, well, I kind of, for some reason, I refer to triangles and spikes as ice. And I would regard circles as fire. Because a fireball and all of that, and fire blasts are usually molten globes of fire or lava aiming towards you. I don't know why that's what I think. So, let's have a look at the map. Where haven't I been? I haven't been on this side of the map. Okay, and that's exactly where I shall go. There's a, a pass coming right up here. So we'll go right, and we'll see where it takes me. I think it takes me to a boat, I believe. It does take me to a boat. So I don't want to go to the boat. The boat is not the best place to go right about now. It just seems to be a giant river, though. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Down there takes me back to where I don't want to go. And certainly we don't know how to swim, so we can't swim across everything to figure out where we're meant to go. But it just seems to be a giant civilized elven pass. At least the elven pass nice and civilized. Now the place isn't. Oh, a merchant. We could have you. It actually might be worth having a merchant with us. I did say earlier it's useless, but he reduce, he increases my merchant by six points. So I'm going to take you for now, because it's actually very important I have a merchant, because now Humpy here, not Humpy, it's the Zans. I keep thinking everyone's awesome as Humpy, but the Zans has 
about 11 merchants right about now. And it's double the effect, so it's definitely something. We should have... You have Wizard's Eye right about now. Because we don't know what lurks in the mountains. Could be some type of mountain giant. Oh, what's that? That's a platform right about there. Hello. We, we need to scale down, sadly, because we can't go for... What is that? It's a giant bridge. What on earth is that? Huh. Let's follow this bridge, shall we? And see where it takes me to this. It's a rather unusual thing to come across. I mean, regarding that you'd have, like, a bridge that's going across the entire region, that's rather strange. So the bridge connects up to that landmass over there. Let's walk over there. I mean, who would commission a giant bridge like that? Why not just have a boat? Go backwards and forwards. But a load of evil trees over across there. Oh. That's certainly not a good thing, on it, at least, in anyway. Is there any way to actually get across? No. How far away is it? Okay, I'm going to try something. It's going to be extremely stupid, but we'll never know if we don't do it. There we go, we managed to, well, get ourselves across. We just need to heal ourselves, but we managed to get across, and we're actually over here now. I don't know where over here is, but what on earth is this? Faint sounds of distant explosions and mad laughter can be heard beyond the door, and there's a sharp, acidic smell in the air. I'll come back in a second, then. Right, so I'm in Clankter's laboratory. Interesting. There's also a lot of trees nearby. Can I take the bridge, I wonder? No? Oh, yes I can. I can actually take the bridge. I might rest on the bridge for a bit and enter the laboratory. I don't think this is where I'm meant to go. Not in the slightest. But I also want to see where this bridge takes me, because it's a rather peculiar bridge, if you ask me. I mean, the guy is clearly insane, and that's why he's got this massive bridge over some sort of death and destruction. Well, I believe it's some type of bridge of death and destruction, because it's across a giant river. Well, ocean. River is ocean. What's the difference? It's just sizes, after all. I mean, size doesn't mean everything, right? Well, that's what I've been telling myself this entire time. So look at that bright light. Look, we can see you all up there. So that takes me to this, this part of here, where there's some more evil trees. There seems to be a, a solitary aisle. I don't know how you meant to get to this place. Wow, there's a hole right here. What does a hole take me, I wonder? What's that? Oh, it's a bullet. Alright. Hello? Hello, Mr. Tree. So this is basically where you're meant to get across. And there's a chest right about there. There's a bunch of chests, in fact. Yeah, it's just a lone island. Tree 69, was that? Did that just say... Yeah, Tree 69. Ah, travelers. How are you today? The trees are quite disturbed. Angry. The heart of the wood has been stolen by walkers. The walkers will pay in blood until the heart is returned. So we need to go find the walkers, wherever they may be. There's a lot of chests here. I don't trust these chests, because, yeah, we're, mo we're probably going to die from them, most likely. So if I just save in here quick. So let's just go to the super chest of fun. And disarm one of these chests. So hello, Mr. Chest. Oh, it's not locked, but there is goodies inside of it. So, oh, so, oh. what's this thing? Oh, that's good. You can have that, Humpy. Oh, that's going to be for you, Farfurian. More luck for you is never a bad thing. Ow. So where's some more chests? There they are. More money. So this was worth dry drowning half the way here. Because we managed to get at least 1,000 gold. Ow. So do you can steal? Okay, let's get that. Oh, I got a longbow. A crude bow. And what's this? That's a heal. That could be good. So we'll keep that and that just in case the Zance goes down, as he likes to do sometimes. Sometimes the word is. I can't skip helm. Not too useful things in this chest, to be honest. These chests are kind of lame. How would you expect for trees, right? Trees don't have the best equipment ever. But they are trees after all. Ah, uh, what's over here? Nothing. Okay. That's that at least.
I should really actually do something in the background quick. So let me get inside. And I need to change something on the stream because I've just actually noticed it. And I wish someone in the chat room told me. But uh, one second. So let me just go to here. I think it's here, is it? Uh, no, it's not that one. It should be that one. There we go. So have that. It has there. That's what I thought was the problem. So that is needs to change right away. Should have done it an hour ago, really. But it will. There we go, it's all changed. So even though I said I was doing something, I was doing something completely different, I actually wasn't. So let's carry on with the game. Sorry about that. So, we were back in this laboratory. Well, we wouldn't go in this laboratory, but we want to go across this peculiar bridge around about here. But we don't know where it's actually going to take us. It could take us anywhere, to be honest. Well, we do know it's going to take us. It's going to take us to a laboratory, but we're alone on this island. Since these islands are isolated places, I don't know how you're meant to get to these places without actually um, taking water walking. We don't have water walking. In fact, we don't even have any water magic yet. Because good old Humpy here wants to use, uh, well, fire. He wants to burn everything alive. I mean, what's wrong with burning things? Well, nothing, really. And hopefully we won't die, even though we've got this, this shifty-looking gentleman here. It looks like someone's trying to grope him from behind. He's like, oh god, I know that person's going to grope me. Well, most likely. At least he's not that creepy person before. I missed a creepy person, because a creepy person would give me more experience when we got the hunter thing. What honorary hunter ship, anyway. So let's go into this laboratory. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? It's probably a lot of things. It's probably like this evil man, it's probably this lich, and it's probably going to burn me alive. Most likely. But there are these evil trees, mind you. So, let's go inside and see what it's like. So, we're in a place that we may or may not meant to be. And we angered things already. In our usual fashion. That does not sound normal. No, it does not. Ah, he's the one who's creating the bloody gogglings. God damn bloody gogglings! Die! Oh, you're just a normal gog. I don't know that's better than a goggling. What's behind me? Oh, you are massive! Hello! I didn't mean to upset you and your friends. I'm just gonna hide here now. Oh god, did you see the size of that thing? It was massive. So let's go attack it first. It's gonna make a massive explosion when I kill it, mind you. But it needs to die. Uh, can we slow it down ever so slightly? And we need to heal Humpy, because Humpy is our main source of damage right about now. Six damage. Fourteen damage. You don't do anything yet, I forget. So, Humpy, uh, what do you want you to do? We want you to fire Firebolt. It's most likely immune to fire. It is immune to fire. I established that last time I came across these bastards. Yes. So, we turn the cow and hitting him over and over again. You need to heal yourself. That's one thing you need to do. I wonder how many more of these things there are. Wow, they do have a lot of health. What do mean a lot of health? I mean, like, wow, oh, okay, that is a lot of health and a lot of damage. Oh, God. That is a lot of everything. And it's going to mass uh, leave a massive explosion when it dies. Oh, this is going to be a wonderful time fighting this thing. The thing is so big as well, compared to these normal gogs. Uh, what should we do? Should we do haste or... No, we don't do fireball. God, no. Uh, we should slow it a bit more. Be slow. There we go. It's going to explode soon. So we need to heal everyone up. Heal yourself up. Yep, massive explosion and nothing left over. Great. Heal, there we go. And let's just randomly hit this thing until it dies. Wow. Okay, we need... Yeah, you. Yeah, fantastic is you. Alright, let's heal yourself. There we go. The carrion shooting this goddamn scaly bastard and now he's dead. Fantastic. I would love to know what's roaring at me too. 
arrows are the well, key here to kill this thing. Unless it goes in your face and they want to explode. They do a lot of damage in an explosion, don't they? Yes, they do. But they don't even have the common decency to drop anything either. What cats? Now, that's a go that's normal goggling, right. You want to get in my face and do fire. I don't like that. What is even in this place? What's that? Take a drink and you are poisoned. Okay, let's do we have cure poison? No, we do not. Do we have any empty potion bottles? Because I don't think we do. We have cure disease. Cure disease. But do we have any potion bottles that's laying around? We have mercury. We could drink it and get brain damage. That sounds like the best idea ever. So for now, Humpy's going to be poisoned for a while. Poor old Humpy. Didn't deserve it. Never deserved it, really. Hello? He seems to have pissed off. There he is. Let's shoot him with arrows until he just can't live anymore. There we go, he's dead. Fantastic. So what about this person over here? Oh, this goes downwards. So he's stuck against something. Let's heal you. Go forwards. And just look. What is that? That's a bronze golem. Is that evil? Let me have a look. That is an evil bronze golem. Oh dear god, help me. Hopefully the explosion will hurt the bronze golem. The bronze golem is going out after me. Um, can we identify the bronze golem? Oh my god, that damage. We are leaving. Leave, leave. Oh my god, that damage on that golem was insane. Now let's explore the rest of this tree place. But while doing so, let's heal each other. Uh, heal yourself for the time being. This is an island. So we're clearly not meant to be here just yet. Let's get this gold. God, those gogglings, man. They're insane. There's evil trees everywhere. Uh, any more chests? I don't think there is any more chests. So what we would do is go back in the bridge, heal ourselves. Oh, is that a chest right about? It is a, it is a chest. You can identify this when you wake up. No room. no room, apparently. There's no more room to fit on his unconscious sleeping body right about now. Okay, very well. Don't blame him. Let's take that piece of thing right there. So right now, everything seems to be kicking our ass severely. I mean, I don't want to go back to the bow down since there's things that can render you straight unconscious there. Um... I don't want to go to the Red Dwarf range because of Medusa's there and his petrification, and I don't really have a uh, stone to flesh yet. Might be useful to get across, I guess. Or to get anyway. So where is the bridge? The bridge is over here. I right, sleep in the bridge, jump in the water, and go across. There we go, take a nice nap. There we go. Now let's try jumping off the bridge. No, not to commit suicide, just merely to get across it. Because I thought, how did a chicken cross the bridge? Oh! So I found it to fall into the water. Humpy broke his neck and died. Humpy! Stop goddamn dislocating your neck and dying like that. It's just no fun, you know? Right. So, I'm just debating what to do with myself. What or what to do with myself? Because I don't. I'm really ill equipped, for my level anyway, because I've still got basic bows. You don't even have a bow. Yeah, I've just got crude bows right about now. Maybe it's worth just, like, going through the barrel downs and just... Just going through it, really. Might be worth it. But after all, I did get a lot of good things from here. We want to get Humpy back. Hopefully the elves won't rip me off too much. Hopefully the world is. So, where, oh where, is the temple again? I forget. I think it should be over there. Should be. Over here is, in fact, the temple. I'm glad my memory doesn't betray me. Go over here. 400 gold, not too bad, I'll take that, thank you very much. We want some food, because we're getting low on that food. Right, so Clankton's laboratory, evil place. Don't go there until later, because it's gogglings. Oh, actually, don't go there until I get some fire resistance, at least. And, okay, you can give me, okay, that's not bad. Let's do that. Let's do some Archimage, why not? Okay, so, uh, let's see here. Let's get myself a drink quick. Oh, that's out. I'm going across to the other side of the room to get myself a drink. Mm. 
Right, I'm back. So I got all of that. There we go, got myself situated again. So, right, we can't do much right about here. But now let's just disper let's get rid of that for now, because those two actually are good. Uh, let's do that one. Do a bit more damage to him. Could make himself a giant wall. We don't want to have a giant wall. You know, we could have a giant wall, let's make our wall even bigger. I got rid of my quarries. The git. Get some magic at least. Can't get rid of that now, can you? Oh, we can get some quartz. Uh, there's nothing more we can do here. Hmm. Get rid of foundations, because we're not going to have bricks for a while. I send some orcs to them. The orcs will disable the wall. Go to Discord. Don't blame him, really. Let's just, just do 12 damage. No, oh, pay me back there. Let's do the dragon's eye. There we go. Got a diamond out of it. A full moon, so we've got some more zoos. Well, we can't have that now, can we? Uh, we want a thief, because we want to get rid of his things in the end, but we don't know what to get rid of. Let's get rid of that for now. Actually, no, let's not get rid of that. Let's have that. Yeah! I didn't realise he got rid of my quarries. Oh, yes, he did, didn't he? We've had one card. Yeah, something's lost on Sunday. Rabbit sheep! Let's throw the sheep into him. Just, like, send them flying. Okay? And he and just once falls onto you and bites off your face. Now, God, that'd be an awful time. Could you imagine that happening to you? It's a sheep coming out of nowhere and just biting off your face just like that. God, I, would, I would hate that myself. Got another quarry again. So, for that quarry you got rid of, I now got one. So, let's get more tower. Oh, we almost won this. Oh, no, no, he doesn't want me to have that tower. So, we do get rid of some of his tower. So, the snakes in there. Oh, quarry help. We lose 10 bricks. So, we take some bricks out of the quarry, but it will get more tower. Sounds like the best thing ever, really. He doesn't want me to have that. Um, what am I close to having right about here? That's going to take a while. That's going to take a while. Uh, probably get rid of that for now. Minus one magic, but minus nine to their tower. Let's steal their bricks instead. One quarry, that's not good. Get one magic. Uh, oh, that's good. Yep, yeah, we want that. Five more, then we probably win. We win. Do we? Yes, we won. We won, and we got, wow, 1,200 gold. We got 4,000 gold. Fantastic. Let's go home. With our nice winnings in tow. We can actually go down, deposit all, and go into the power downs with little pennies in our pockets. I'm just happy that we actually have money now. I've been spending a lot of it, mind you. To just mainly upgrade our characters in the general sense. We could probably invest in some air magic. Maybe. Anything up here? Nope, nothing up there. Okay. We could probably invest in that, but uh, let's save our money for a rainy day. I think that's the best thing for now. You never know what might happen.